compound interest in uh, spreadsheets. So I'll enter the spreadsheet application and you'll notice I've already put in a few labels here and some initial values. The interest rate is 10%, principal $500. And uh, initially uh, we have zero interest on the first years because there is nothing. Now we want to create a column of time here, number of years. So we tap into cell A5, tap onto equals to start a formula and we want to take the value above it in cell A4 and add one. And the formula looks good, so we'll accept it, tick the box. Over into the total column here at the moment, it's simply the value in cell B2. So we'll say equals, uh, tap into B2 and tick the box. Now the interest for the first year is going to be the principal uh, multiplied by the rate. So here we go, we'll start a formula equals and we want to take the previous uh, amount in C4, multiply by the rate in B1 and divide by 100. Um, now, the only thing we've got to make sure is that because we don't want the value in cell B1 here to update, we need to tap back into the formula in front of the one. We're just going to insert a dollar to lock that in and make it an absolute cell reference. We tick the box. And finally, we want to add into this box, it's the total of the previous amount plus the interest. So equals is our formula, um, the number that we had at the start of the year plus the interest uh, and accept that formula. And you see now the total amount has grown. Now, our, basically, we just need to copy this um, row down uh, for as many cells as we want years. So here I go, I've selected the row and I'm going to tap into cell A5, drag one and let go, tap and drag, tap and drag, tap and drag, tap and drag. I think that'll do us for the first sort of six years there. Now to tidy up these numbers, you'll notice that um, some of them are getting displayed to more than um, two decimal places. And normally with money, we want to work to dollars and cents. So if we select um, these numbers, we can go to Edit, Format, Number Format, and select Fix 2 for um, two decimal places and tap OK to co confirm that. Um, we can also kind of mess with the column widths. We could make this column slightly narrower if we need to and make these two slightly wider um, if we wanted to go down a bit. But basically that's um, our compound interest spreadsheet. And the beauty of course is we could change it. Maybe the rate goes down from 10 to 4%. So by changing the number in B1, the whole spreadsheet has updated and we're obviously getting less interest. We might have started out with a larger amount, maybe $2,000 is the principal. So we'll enter 2000, tap execute, and you can see then the spreadsheet reflects those changes. Uh, if we wanted to save a copy of this, we've got file, save, uh, enter a suitable name and tap save. I'll cancel.